Die, 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 So today we're focusing on uh, the first um, it's not even manifest the, the first thing that was created in the space of the contraction remember we spoke about the contraction so the face the first um, thing that was created was Adam Kadmon and Adam is human human and, and the, the name is using Adam to really make the connection on all levels because we are we are made in the image of Adam and in the image of God and this is basically the highest level of God that is manifested inside the Tzimtzum and then Adam is us also so this one is called primordial Adam primordial man and um, so we will uh, and initially in uh, Kabbalists before uh, the lawyer didn't really touch this they stayed only the four worlds at Silut and, <coughs> and didn't go beyond that uh, Luria was the one that started bringing um, more knowledge from from that higher level uh, but still we don't know anything about Adam Kadmon him, him say, I'm saying himself itself whatever uh, and the inside because it's too um, too high too sublime what we do know is only what came out of him the lights that emanated from him that were the the lights that created um, worlds and eventually everything so um, let's read the um, the first one was Adam Kadmon, and, and it is, it's very um, abstract, it's quite complicated, so uh, if you get, get an intuitive glimpse that you got it, this is fine, I mean, this is really, because it's really something that is, uh, as I said, for many hundreds of years, they didn't even go there, it was too high, so we shouldn't feel bad having it being difficult. Would you like? Sure. Adam Kadmon. The first structure of the spherot of the line appears to prophets in the image of Adam, and it is called Adam Kadmon. This is the fifth world located above the worlds of Asilut, emanation, Bria, creation, Yetzira, formation, and Asiya, doing. It is called Adam Kadmon because it precedes all the images of Adam in all the other worlds, and it includes all of the Creator's ordinances in a sublime and more concealed way than the world of Atsilut. The Luria Kabbalists refer to the four different ways of filling out the name yud heh vav -Hey, by their gematria, number value. The name, 72, that is associated with the first letter Y, is the skull of of Adam Kadmon. Adam Kadmon, okay. And its extensions are hidden. They go out through his hair. The name 63, that is associated with the letter He, emerges from his ears and below. The name 52, that is associated with the last letter He, comes out of his eyes. The name 45, which is associated with the letter Yud, comes out of his forehead. Okay, um... The details are really not important. What's important is that um, 
those names, these are names of God, and this, these are names that are created from the, the name, the yud hey vav hey. In, in Hebrew, you don't just write yud hey vav hey. You also do the spelling of each of the letters in these four letters. Ah. So, uh, so what you get through the spelling of those letters, you get ten letters mm -hmm. that add up. In, in, the, in numerically to different numbers because you can do different, we call it the feeling of the word, of the letter, how you spell the actual letter. And that's <coughs> the feeling of the letter. And in some of the letters, it's only one way to do it, but in, in, in the hey and the vav, there are various ways to do it. So as you do it in, in one way, you get to 72 when you calculate all the value. When you get to, uh, in another way, it's 63, which is also a name of God. It's All of those are na end up being a na names of God, derivative of the original name of God. And then the third way, is uh, is 45, and 45 is also the word Adam in Hebrew. So it's uh, connecting to the Adam. And the, the, the fourth way is the, the uh, 52, also it's a different way of um, spe filling the name, and uh, you, get to, you get to 52. 52 is the lowest level. 52 represents basically this, the level where there was a breaking of the vessels that either resonate with or not. It's a stage in creation that was the, the vessels were not good enough. They broke, and, and that was the lights of 50, and they were made of lights of the name of 52, lights that came from the eyes. So it's a, it's a lesser, lesser level, and it's interesting because in Hebrew, the 52 adds up to the word behema, which is animal. So you can see that even the numbers are connoting mm -hmm. what it means because the lowest one adds up to be animal and the one above it is Adam. So uh, there are all kinds of there are all kinds of things being done with those with those um, feelings mm -hmm. of the of the of the name in, in many ways. It's a very popular thing in, in the books. So uh, I have a question. Yeah. And uh, I'm not quite sure how to formulate it. The universe, as was discovered by the ancients, has a mathematical precision to it. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything in these numbers that speaks to the mathematics of the physical universe mm. and how it mm. runs. I don't know. <laughs> I can see. No, I don't know. I mean, I can see that you. It, it, it's built according to the order of the Aleph Bet in Hebrew. The first letter is one, the second letter is two, the third letter is three, etc., until 22. Right. So that's how the numbers go. And they were also serving like the, the Roman uh, numerals. Num numerals. Yeah. They, they were, would use for pages the letters and not uh, numbers, numbers. Uh, but I have no idea. I mean, this is a very good question. Wouldn't it be no incredible mm -hmm. if it was? It, it's connected. Mm -hmm. and, it was connected. But, you know, at the same time, I wouldn't be totally surprised. Right. Because the level right. of knowledge that comes out that without all the laboratories and instruments and everything, uh, I wouldn't be surprised, but I have no idea. So, uh, basically, Adam Kadmon, again, we are not talking about Adam Kadmon him, himself, we cannot know that, but what happened, light came out of his, uh, and again, we are using uh, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, it's just literally so that we relate to it in our language, but this is energy in space. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the prophets were seeing the, 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 the image of Adam. Hmm. Um, that's where it, the image that, that came through is Adam, but this is because of what I think our level of relating. But anyway, lights came from him, uh, from ears. The hairs are the original, the highest ones, the 72, but uh, we 
don't know anything about it. It's too high. It's beyond our grasp, and we, we, we know nothing about that. And we don't talk about those. Also, those those lights, the, the, the first vessel is the letters. It's interesting. The letters are the vessels. And in the lights that came from Madame Cadmon, the highest level, they were, it was just light. There was no... Now we are going into a process that would have to create vessels within from the light. Mm -hmm. So basically we are uh, in, 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 in this gradual, uh, so the highest lights come from the, from the hair, we don't even, they are beyond. Mm -hmm. um, the lights that we start relating to is from the ears, these are the next highest, and these are belong to, to the name of 63. It's one step down. Uh, and, and But those lights are totally lights, there's no vessel. It's like the vessel is hinted there in no way that it can be um, discovered. But this is a gradual uh, process of uh, filtering uh, down the light so eventually it will come to this level. So uh, we start with the lights of the ear, nose and mouth. And again, it's not the actual original light of Adam Kadmon. Adam Kadmon, the light figure, is beyond seeing. What we see is what radiates out from it. Mm -hmm. The radiance. Uh, <laughs> Ziv. Which is Ziv. It's, it, that's, that's my name. Mm -hmm. But Ziv. So it's like if the light, source of light here, you just see, like when the sun sets and you see beyond the clouds, mm -hmm. these rays coming out. So we are already one step removed from the original light that we cannot really see. Uh, and, the, and those lights, and that ziv is coming through the openings of the ears, the, the nose, the mouth, and the eyes. At a certain order, they will go. Uh, but it's important to, these are the original lights from which the spherot were formed, because the lights came as ten spherot from the right ear, ten spherot from the left ear, ten spherot from the right ear. Uh, side of the nose. They, they came in forms of ten spherot, initially only light. In the mouth already there was one, one vessel was created because it's a different f a frequency of the energy uh, to, to have a vessel. And in the, in the eyes was the first time that actual vessels came out. So we are basically going through a kind of gradual process towards creating vessels. Mm -hmm. When we were talking of, about the symptom, this is the first vessel, basically. This is the first root of all vessels. But now, okay, now we are moving from light into mm -hmm. creating actual vessels. So that's basically the process. Uh, the lights that come out of Adam Kadmon are the lights that will serve to create the sphero, both the light and the vessels of the sphero, both both sides of it. Everything will come from this. So that's why it's so significant. And it is believed that it, he fills this whole space. Mm -hmm. uh, although when we look, we look at like an image of Adam, you know, like more the way we are more used to with the sphero in this image. But in some way, it fills the whole space of the of the symptom. But the image of Adam, this is the image of Adam. This is called the image of Adam and the order of Adam, which is like mm. like head, shoulders, this is the arms, and um, so this is <laughs> sort of connoting <laughs> connoting the image of Adam and it's called the order of Adam. The whole of creation is done in the order of Adam and Adam Kadmon is the first one in that order, that's the first time that it's appearing in that in that order. So, so what do we make of the fact that 72 is four times high? Um, Nothing. No. For us, high is very significant, but uh, it's not as significant. Ten is very significant, and four is very significant. And 72 is four times... Uh, and no, no, it's not four times. Four it times is. Seven. Four times seven. High, high but, yeah, but no, no, no. But four times 72 is 288. It's four times, yeah. But we, high is not playing. High is playing uh, much later. The, uh, this is not, no. Um, so. So I don't know if this is 
you know, this is a relevant question. In, in other classes, when we've talked about different constructs to try to help us understand something that is not understandable, you know, for, for example, mm -hmm. you know, that diagram I recognize doesn't really represent things, but it serves as a way for me to understand it. Um, this is difficult. Th why they came up with a construct of eyes, ears, nose, whatever. Oh, this is just so... <laughs> I, I, I trust that, that, that there's logic behind it. Yeah, no, the, 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 the logic is to make it um, more our language. They didn't succeed. <laughs> well, we, we just had a class on this today, it late earlier, and this was at the, also at Adam Kadmon on a, on a much yeah. more or higher level, but it's very difficult. It's yeah. very. Uh, that's why I'm saying mm -hmm. it is. Uh, it's, it's supposed to evoke in us the image of Adam. <laughs> Apparently, the prophets are, are said to have seen that in their visions. Um, and yet, once you get that image, I would say to you, forget it because it cannot be that it's in <laughs> right. that image. You know. Right. Uh, so it's this. Uh, it's more like the, be the way that we can grasp it mm -hmm. and make some sense as little as comes, but uh, it's, that's basically what it is. And Adam, Kadmon, Adam Arishon in Gan Eden, I mean, you, and, the, and the order of Adam gives you an ongoing connection from one stage to the other. Okay. Uh, more literal than that, it cannot get. <laughs> well, there's a danger, I think, too, because, I mean, we tend, as, as you think about uh, this being the image of God in man, then we then we tend to anthropomorphize the whole thing. I mean, so we, we start with ourselves, and then we say, well, we understand God because look, we look at and ourselves. And we carry the tensefirot in us. That, so definitely, right. the whole the whole journey of going into this level in Kabbalah is uh, point and counterpoint. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, you are invited to think about it in familiar concepts. And as soon as you got the familiar concepts, you have to let go Throw because it. it's not really that. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. So it's this touch and go, touch and go. Uh, and that's why I'm saying that it really talks not to the brain. It talks to the soul. Mm -hmm. It talks to intuition. Because in the intuition, you can have a moment that you got it. But then you have to, the brain wants the structure and to go with the literal structure. But at that point, it's not right. It, it has to be left alone. So it's it's very tricky. I mean, it's, I, we are using all this language and then say, okay, guys, forget that. This is not what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, because nothing is what it is. I mean, ultimately, that's what you, <laughs> you learn in this. So um, let's... Peter, would you like to read the second? Sure. Here the text is helpful <coughs> because... It's a little more solid. Mm -hmm. We're not much more, but a little more. <laughs> I, get, I, I, I get light out of the eyes, he gets solid. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Adam Kadmon is the world of reward. The other four worlds below it are the world of work. Just with me. Are you familiar with Atzilut, Bri'ah, Yitzirah, Asiya, the four worlds? We will talk about it later, but... Um, maybe now. Maybe now. Okay, basically most of the Kabbalists until Luria and us in our world talk about four worlds, for, uh, uh, that this creation is organized in four worlds. Uh, the highest one is Atzilut, emanation, and that's where all the Sfirot are, that's where all the light... Um, uh, Parts of him, it's all light, it's all one. It basically represented the oneness for a long time before they went higher than that. So Atzilut is a representative of, of the oneness in that sense, it's all light. Uh, below it, the world of Bria, creation. And in that world, uh, the, the, all the uh, creation, all the, uh, the Atzilut is a oneness, basically. It's, it's all made of light. The Bria is the first le uh, world of separate beings. But uh, the level, uh, the Bria is the level of the souls, which is, it's, it's, it's the higher level. And um, so there nothing's 
incarnate yet? This no, no, no. Like That's only in the last one. But these are yeah. these are, these are beginning to be separated okay. creatures of light, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's a separation. There was in Atsilut, it's all basically light. You know, no separate beings. That's a big difference between Atsilut and uh, and the lower three worlds, mm -hmm. because all the lower three worlds, each in their own language and kind, they have separate beings. So Atsil, so so uh, Bria has the souls. The Yetzira, the one below, which is uh, formation, uh, has the, uh, the angels. They are from formation. And separate beings, but spiritual beings. <coughs> and Asiya, doing, is the world that we live in, uh, is uh, has two parts. It has a spiritual part and it has the real physical part. Uh, in the spiritual part, you have uh, the 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 solar system, the the the, the, the stars are all included uh, because they are supposed to be messengers of God. Also, the stars. There is astrology mm -hmm. in 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 uh, Judaism. And the stars do depict stuff, but according to Judaism, they are not the souls. They are just messengers on the way from above. But the stars are part of the spiritual uh, part of mm -hmm. Asiya, of doing. And the lower part, of course, is everything in creation. All mm -hmm. the separate created beings on all levels um, as we know them. So you can see that there is a gradation, again, in the frequency of the energy as we go down. It might be that that helps answer or might begin to address the question you raised, Frank, about, you know, the, the connection between early mathematical explanations of the universe. And, uh, uh, but it's, it's really starting at a fairly low level in, in, the, in the process. I mean, I sort of see this as a progressive, uh, you know, a, a grade, a, a gradation. A this is a, a gradation. gradated pr uh, process, process. Mm -hmm. of getting from everything or nothingness, and and, and so f down to something that we can. You know, and Adam Kadmon can represent can and so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that you, in, in order to get down to that, you you have to go through these these stages because and, and they are there's sort of a logic to them, I think. But uh, as you look at them. It's a filtering down of the level of the energy. And Adam Kadmon is the fifth, the first world. It's considered the first world, the fifth world. Uh, the all, uh, lower three are basically uh, on a lower level from Atsilut in, in a big way. Uh, it's also, we're also using the four worlds for um, you, from the human perspective, the world of Asiya is the world of the body, mm -hmm. the physical body. Mm -hmm. The world of Yetzirah, uh, formation, is the world of the emotions. So this is another way of using the, the concept of four worlds. Mm -hmm. The world of Bria, creation, is uh, the intellect, the level of the intellect. And the level of atzilut is the level of the spirit, the spirituality. So one can do a practice in trying to check himself. How do I? How am I doing today on the level of asiya? How am I do, doing today on the level of emotions? Mm -hmm. it, ca it, 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 it can be used in practice mm -hmm. on, on those levels. Of course, the four levels, the four letters of the name of God. Everything is cre in creation to gets the four letters of the name of God. So the highest one will be Yud, you know, the Bria will be He, uh, Yetzirah will be Vav, and the Asiya will be the lower He. That construct repeats itself all the time. And the names that we were saying, 72, 63, also are divided according. The, the highest one, Atsilut, will be 72, 63 will be Bria. 45 will be Yetzira and 52 will be Asiya. It's all connected exactly in the same order. All of creation is arranged again, around the same principles. So basically, if you put your hand blindly on any stage in creation, it will hold the same arrangement. And that's significant. Mm -hmm. Only it will, in each level, it functions on that level. Meaning the energy level is that level, the creatures that are there are functioning on that level. Each world has the same structure of the spherot, 10 spherot in each world going in this order. 
And connecting to each other, the, the lowest sphere of the higher world becomes the highest sphere of the lower one, like a chain going down. Mm -hmm. So they are very connected. It's, it's one system. And mostly, you would find people talking about this system, not so much about Adam Kadmon. Adam Kadmon is really, Ramchal was the, the most at length about Adam Kadmon. But it's just not good... Important to know that the overall structure within the Tzimtzum is called Adam Kadmon, and that's the root of everything. Everything came from there. Mm -hmm. And um, so... So I have another question. Yes. When you talk about Asiya, as Peter was pointing out, the table. Mm -hmm. the, right, the, yeah. The, 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 the world of substance. Um, the only way in which we can apprehend the world is through our five senses. Senses, right. Um, and what is the sense, what is the organ, what is the capacity, what is the capability that allows you to go Ooh, to Yetzira, Bria, and Atzilut? Your soul. The soul knows this. Intuition would be another... Uh, intuition accesses the soul, but not... Yeah. Uh, not all, but the soul has that knowledge. This is not a <clears> secret <throat> on a soul level. Uh, so you may find, as, as we study, as if there are moments like, yeah, I know. And it's not, I know, it doesn't come from the brain. The brain mm. doesn't play mm -hmm. a role in mm -hmm. this. It's really the soul. It's a knowing of the soul. Now, when we talk about the senses of Adam Kadmon that I was mentioning before, uh, the difference, again, they are compared to our senses, but the difference is that they are radiating light, and we are receiving in our senses, mm. mostly. I mean... You can also talk out, but our senses are there for receiving. The important thing to know that the soul that's in us, that you cannot grasp the soul either. I mean, you can relate to the soul just like Adam Kadmon. You don't really... The soul uses the body to see, to hear, to express, to talk, to smell, all of that. But the soul has to work with the body in the level of the body. So, like, when we see, the soul can see much more. That's why they all, in, all, in all spiritual systems, when they talk about the, the next phase, it will be a telepathic kind of knowing without talking. That's a soul-to-soul -soul connection. Uh, we are still using the senses, and the senses are the limitation that the soul has to accept uh, in, in connecting like with the eyes, the soul can see much more, but it, whatever vision comes in, it has to go through the mechanism of the eye and the picture that will be accepted has been filtered down through the senses. So the senses are really uh, the access out for the soul, but also the lim limiting the outside up to the level of the body. Mm -hmm. so uh, would you say that the soul isn't developing at all? It's just your ability to perceive it, right? Because he, he said, how do you expand this? It's not your soul expanding through those. No, expanding, these are the lights of Adam Kadmon. They are just lights. This is the emanation of the light into, into, into in order to create creation. Uh, for us, it's a different story. The soul... As it enters the body, it has to diminish itself because the body cannot take, take the full light of the soul. So the soul is functioning on a lower level once it's in the body. On that level, it's already, it's not functioning at its fullest potential. Mm -hmm. So then we're not even thinking about this in a human concept? So then this again? is not thought about in a human concept? The soul? Yeah. No, it's a part okay. of God. Okay. It's connected to God. But it's, it is who we are. But it has to adjust, just if you remember when I was explaining this, I was saying that the line has to function in the level that the Tzimtzum can take. 
The soul has to function in the level that the body can take. It's the mm -hmm. same. The light has to adjust to the vessel. In the physical world, the vessel dictates the level of the action, not, not the soul. The light can go much more, but it doesn't. It has to be limited. I, I just had a thought about this. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, then, to use the expression, my soul. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I suddenly. I am. It, I am my soul. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I right. belong to it, my it soul. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't work. That's interesting. I hadn't thought of that before. Nor had I. But I want Wait, to. So, how would you talk about it? What I can't. You? Well, the closest you can do is I belong to my soul, as opposed to. Correct. Right. I. I or know. there's a soul there that has me sort of attached to it, or something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> my body. What do you mean by <laughs> but that's that's the que that's the question. The CBS right. symbol. So <laughs> <laughs> an answer to that one at least. Michael. Yeah, we we won't go there at this point in the interest of time. Mm -hmm. but, but you know, it, it occurs to me that our senses are not only limitations, but they're also deceptions. Because yeah. our yeah, senses deceive us and distract us. But that's part of the deceiving, because the soul sees bigger, you see? Mm -hmm. So the deception yeah. is like, if the ball is this big, you see that's it like this big. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's a sort of, right. yeah. But, yeah. But you're deceived to the extent that you think that's all there is. Mm -hmm. right. right. And you're distracted and you focus on that. Definitely, but the, if when you are at that stage of development, when I say I, I mean my body. Mm -hmm. That's what I was. Well, yeah. Many people mm -hmm. walk around and don't think yeah. that there is anything. My body, my body is me. Uh, it takes it takes education, spiritual education, to say, okay, I have a soul and a body. It takes even higher level to say, I have my soul in a body. Yes. These are all stages of really going beyond the limitations. Mm. Yeah. But there is a, an element of development of the soul that I wanted to touch. Um, the soul has made, uh, several levels. We are not going in, in it's a detail to the subject of the soul. The soul has several levels. When the baby is born, only the, the let's say one, two, three, on the only number one is activated until a certain age, 13. When it reaches 13, this number two kicks in, ruach a higher level of the soul. It's all soul. Each level functions on its own level. The, the level does not develop, but the development is in additional levels of the soul are being added in. So there is a development there, but it happens... Um, Externally from the soul. Mm. Uh, well, internally from the soul. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's building awareness in a sense, isn't it? I mean, isn't that sort of the... The, you, you know, at, thir at, at before 13, I had no idea about that next level. <coughs> and then at 13... And at 20, <coughs> you're supposed to get the level of neshama right, and right. develop the, the, the higher uh, grasp of the world so and it, everything. So is the awareness aware, it, the soul being aware, or is it the yeah. body being aware? Yeah, or is no, it, it's is a it, soul awareness. Mm -hmm. The body is the executive force mm -hmm. of the soul. Look at that body. It looks the same. If it's just immediately after the death, it looks the same. But there's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's the soul that did everything. Mm -hmm. It's not my body talking. My body is expressing what my yeah. soul is saying yeah. at this moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very... That's why I'm saying people don't do the differentiation. You have to really learn consciously to develop this differentiation that mm -hmm. I am not my body. Mm -hmm. I am something else. I, would, I want to touch on one very quick thing you were saying, Frank, about distraction. So in the work that I do with my mentees, <clears throat> if I want to help them connect into something higher, you have to distract them so you can do it. So that's when you take out tarot cards, <laughs> where they can allow you know, their spirit to pick the right card, whereas if they were just, you know, what's the thing I'm supposed to be thinking of next, they'd find themselves being distracted, or I Ching. And to me, that's the purpose of a lot of these different things, is to distract us so we can access something you know, bigger than us. That's mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The brain is limiting, with yeah. all due respect to the brain. Mm -hmm. It's a limiting... Uh, thing.
because it only thinks in certain formats and the soul has no limit. Mm -hmm. And if you can tap into that, gotcha. you go beyond limits. So suddenly the IQ test becomes unimportant. And I mean, a lot this of is, things. This is not, uh, Listen, not measuring very much. We already established there was no I, so all we have to add is there is no Q and we're there. <laughs> <laughs> Shall Second paragraph. Shall we continue, <laughs> read, shall we continue reading? I, uh, I only got through one sentence. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's keep the... Adam Kedmon, just if you get that there is this original <coughs> thing uh, that is called Adam Kedmon, which means it, it, it dictates the order of Adam that will go throughout, mm -hmm. and the light that comes out of that is the light that creates what comes later. The interesting thing about that is because there is a, a, there is an order, there is that's the gradation. There is an order. One thing comes after the other in order to create the gradation. Mm -hmm. Why do we need gradation? This big big God can just do it like this, because it's for us to be able to understand. Like if mm -hmm. if there was no pregnancy, you wouldn't be able to. Uh, to to intervene to intervene in a special age of the of the fetus to, to do something to help in life we need the gradation mm -hmm. uh, so the lights come in certain order that order the lights that come from the ear also parallel <coughs> what we call the ninth millennium because on the way back when the world is repaired we will start climbing back. And this is a ladder, and that's the ladder that Ramchal is giving us. The ladder, the first one will be from, uh, we are all in the in Malchut of Asiyah. So we are climbing up here, Asiyah. It's folding up, climbing up Yetzirah, folding up, climbing up Briah, folding up, joining Atzilut. And then, because all those four worlds belong to the 6,000, to this physical <coughs> world of, of work. Uh, Adam Kadmon is the world of reward, is the world after. But in Adam Kadmon, according to how the lights came out, these are the millenniums, because uh, we call this world 6,000 years. Uh, not literally, but the world of work that we live in, the physical world, is 6,000 years. Then there is a seventh millennium, which is like Shabbat, that's the world of reward. And then there is an eighth millennium in which, at that point, it will be really a whole other world. It, at that point, it will all be recreated on totally spiritual. And the eighth, um, eighth, eighth millennium is parallel to the lights of the mouth. Mm -hmm. um, to, yeah. The, the, the ninth is the ears and the tenth is the hair. So we are climbing up those lights that came down at the beginning, at the end of creation. This is a ladder mm -hmm. to climb back <coughs> up. And that's, that's the main importance of knowing, of knowing that there is this order of mm -hmm. it was created in that order and it will fold back up to the oneness in in the opposite, coming from down mm -hmm. up. This is like this, the, the letter of Jacob with the angel going mm -hmm. up and down. I mean, there are this image is very much there in many ways. So uh, the the four um, lights that come from Adam Kadmon become four, four, four uh, millenniums mm -hmm. that get us to the 10th millennium, mm -hmm. which is the end, going back to the oneness. So that's, that's how they play, and that's why it is significant. The, the the whole process of this. Uh, as for the worlds, so uh, I lost my reading, or do yeah, I? Yeah, you lost your reading okay. for that one. It was but nice. you can go. Yes, it was <clears throat> nice while it lasted, wasn't right. it? <laughs> Plus, you get this, so you can take it home and read it. So wh why don't you? I don't want you to feel deprived. So start about the worlds a little. <laughs> start about the worlds. Yeah. Where do we want to do that? Next page. Well, oh, the next one. Where it says worlds. There we. Go. Oh, we really Literally. skipped a. Lot. We skipped yeah. a lot here. Okay. Yeah, but you have. <coughs> you, you, you take it home and you read it. Fine. Cures. Fine. Worlds. The sum total of God's governing units is called world. These units are perceived and function on different levels and in different ways, and are the four different worlds. They can also be seen as four sets of contraction. The same. Everything, every stage that we go in the gradation can, can be looked at as con another contraction. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it filters down the energy to a lower level. 
So they're really, they're, they're, they're steps, steps as well as... Steps, yeah. yeah. Steps okay. is a good word. For example, on the level of the physical world, our world, his ordinances are activated in a physical manner. The Sfirah Chesed, loving kindness, is revealed through material abundance and blessings, whereas the Sfirah of Din, judgment, is revealed through the contraction of the material abundance to the point of depravity and lacking. In the spiritual world, the same ordinances manifest themselves in a spiritual way. Spiritual abundance, or contracted spirituality. Nevertheless, we should not err to think that there is only one spiritual world, as we tend to imagine because of our limited perspective. There are many different spiritual worlds, each one, each one more sublime, purer, and brighter. The higher the world, the purer and more spiritual are created in... Wait, the higher the world, the purer and more spiritual are created in it. Oh, they're created in it. The creatures. Yep. Right, right. I just didn't like the word creatures, so I did mm. create it. Oh, okay, okay. Ah. In, in essence... Thank you. Uh... Right. The worlds. In essence, the worlds are divided in four. Ours, the world of doing, Asiya, includes the corporeal, created, and, and their spiritual roots, the ministers that are in charge of them. Above it is the world of formation, Yetzira. Above it, the world of creation, Bria. And above it, the world of emanation, Atzilut. Go One quick question. Yeah. The sphera of din? Din. Yeah. Din is uh, judgment. Din and gvura, it has two names. Gvura. Ah, thank you. That's You're welcome. Yeah. But Tiferet has uh, beauty and mercy, rachamim. Uh, they have more than one name. Okay. Each sphera. Oh, They're not I necessarily oh, just. No. So, you know. It's like a, it's like a Russian novel. What's yeah. a, a sphera? Uh, and that's putting it smallly. I mean, it's <laughs> much bigger than that. These are the ten sphirot. This is the structure, the building blocks of creation. And each of them is different attribute, like right. judgment or loving kindness, and different. Sure. And all of them together participate in the governing creation, in, in the creation of the world and in the governing of it. They are the powers that are governing. There are emanations from God that um, they are not really manifest because it's a high level, but uh, they are manifestable to the few uh, privileged people, like, like the prophets, that can can envision so they can see some of that. This is as high as they can can, uh, can go. This is a very short explanation for something very complicated. <laughs> I, have, I have a practical question. Yeah. Practical question is if it's so hard to get to Yetzira, Bria, and Atsilut and to really grasp it other than at a moment and, and perhaps briefly as a flash, how do I live my life in Asiya uh -huh. in order to allow for the possibility of Well, that's where insight. we're making it the emotional part, the, the, make, making it the personal part of emotions, body emotions, <laughs> intellect and uh, spirituality. It's a little more tangible. I mean, you can work with yourself and make the division inside, how do I do today intellectually? Well, not so good today, not a good day. Uh, or how, I mean, you can, you can judge those areas in your life that allows you to connect to it directly without being a prophet, you know, just to, to, to access it in that way. Is that what the mitzvot do? The mitzvot... Um, hmm. 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 You should answer that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. It was enlightening. <laughs> in, in, in fact, uh, ac according to Judaism, it is uh, the learning and observance of Torah. And that's what it's about. Learning of their principle. Torah. Torah, right. Hmm. And the mitzvot are connected. There are 613 mitzvot that are connected to 613 parts of the body and 613 parts of the soul and 613 parts of each sphera. 
So you're connected immediately with every deed to this whole chain that takes you up there. That's why it is building blocks that are connected. So you are, I always saw it like a puppet, you know, the string goes all the way up to the sphira with, with the deed. So there are those connections now. Uh, in older days, people were more aware of the of the connection uh, in, in we're doing mitzvot Kabbalists to this day are doing mitzvot with putting those intentions out mm -hmm. you don't always do that necessarily mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if you do that then you can reach you are basically climbing up the ladder just by by praying by doing mitzvot if you put your intention there to want to go to that place you know so, so I'm sorry no oh, please it, it also includes right behavior, not just mitzvot, uh, right conduct, ethical conduct, loving kindness, no lush and hurry. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, and I was thinking that, you know, the idea of spelling it out this way, even though we can't really grasp those higher levels, I mean, that's beyond us. Maybe our soul can do it, but we, our bodies can't and our intellect can't. But the idea, the, the, the knowing that they're there, that that's part of the process, the, the, great, the, the gradated process, the graduated process. And then we think about what we're doing, how we're behaving, how we're feeling, and how it fits into what's being activated at that point. I mean, for me, it's a matter of, in this sense, and I'm, I don't do it, but I, 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 I can think about wanting to do it, to be aware of, simlev, be aware of these things, uh, of the sfirot, of the, and, and, and it actually helps, I think, sort of explain and orient things that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. and, and that alone is sort of a, it connects me to something else. I, I, I'm surely not getting there very wholeheartedly, but it, I'm working at it. And this gives me some, some way to think about it and, and, and to act toward it that, that's, that's, that's more tangible. And, and, and not not totally overwhelming. Because if we started, if I started with Adam Kadmon, forget it. I mean, I, I can't do that. If I started with Atsilut, I couldn't, I couldn't get it. But at least I know they're there, and I can then look at, look at these attributes, these characteristics, these functions, and say, well, you know, it's, there's a link. <laughs> and if I feel that link, it gets me a little bit closer to it, I think. And I'm doing that through my body. I'm not doing that elsewhere. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the Kabbalists uh, were devout people who established a direct connection with God. And it is that relationship that produced the growth and maturation of the soul and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is really to the few. They were not in the hundreds. I mean, in every generation. This is well, the, the smaller circles. Um, I would say that it's probably not dif different from uh, big spiritual sages in any other system that connect to the source, you know, basically. And then they bring down that and share it with other people. Uh, but I think if you, if you sort of include this in your consciousness and the, your frame of reference becomes a bigger frame of reference, somehow when you do something and you aim it for the bigger frame of reference, it's all energetic, you know. So mm -hmm. it's like like when we send light to somebody for healing and stuff like that. So um, those are the levels that we connect can connect to it, just being regular people. Well, you know, getting back to what you were suggesting, I mean, the fact is that over time, over the last three thousand years or so, a lot has been discovered. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a lot more we can talk about today than you could have, let's say, BCE 2000. A lot more, thanks to these people who are connecting with God in a much more complete way than, than, than most of us can do here. But thanks to them, we can, we, can, we can talk about this structure. 
and and maybe we don't get it very well, but at least we can. And and then and that awareness, I think, is what is what really allows us to <coughs> grow, and allows us to do uh, uh, tikkun, or participate in tikkun, and and so it's not we're getting help from them. So there is, I think there is in that sense, uh, human beings <coughs> have done quite a bit in, in, in preparing for the seventh, seventh millennium. Seventh millennium. <laughs> um, I want you to skip, not to, to read straight, go to the second <coughs> page. And I don't have pages. Yeah, mm. this page, it, there is a, in the middle of the paragraph, there is, but the world of Atsilut. But the world of Atsilut, as was said above, is the world of the ways of his ordinances. In it all, his ordinances are aspects of his thought that are being revealed to us through the lights, but not in a manifested stage yet, i.e. creatures. Ordinance, by the way, is a weird word that is used here. It's a governing system. Mm -hmm. I mean, otherwise you, you never use, it's never used anywhere else in this way. Governing system. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, the, the lower three worlds organize exactly in the same way, but on a different level. The creatures are on a different level, everything is on a different level, but exactly the same structure. Sfirot emanates things mm -hmm. on the level of, that sp of, of the specific world. Atzilut is a whole thing by itself, uh, it's, it's all light, and it really basically is where the, the governing takes place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, all of these four worlds are called the world of Tikkun mm -hmm. that we live in. That's the world we live in. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and Atsilut is basically the governing power in it. So it makes sense why for a long time people focus just on those four and Dayeno. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so... Uh, Sh shall I continue it or not? This is why it is named Atsilut. Go ahead, yeah. This is why it is named Atsilut from the root Itzel, with, not separated from him, yet. Ah. And from the root, uh, uh, and from the root Ha-Atzel, ha Ha-Atzel, ha emanate, ah, since it was emanated and created uh, the other, I'm sorry, since from it were emanated and created the other uh, three worlds, Bria, Yetzira, Asiya. This, Atsilut, is a purely spiritual world. From those lights with their orders and shades, we learn all of his ways. The prophets in their visions saw the shining lights whose radiance reflected in their souls, and they have explained them to us in their prophecies as is explained in the wisdom of truth. So even the prophets don't see the, no, the, the light. They see I, I, that's the, the radiance the, of the, the light. The, the, they see the reflection. The, yeah. 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 So, so Etzel is <coughs> unseparated mm -hmm. and emanating at mm. the same time. What is? Etzel is She in French. She, you know French? Um, she, <laughs> like She Tui. Etzel ah. ah. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. is She. Uh, it's Lee, yeah, okay. Chez moi. Chez moi. Yeah. So, uh, plus, in, in different conjugation in Hebrew, it's to emanate. The same word. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting because I'm, <coughs> I'm reminded of an English word that has two meanings. And it's often used in, in biblical talk. And the two meanings of the word are completely opposite from one another. And the word is cleave. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. To yep. cleave I means to, to fuse together to, or, or, to, or to chop apart. Mm -hmm. To chop apart. <laughs> so uh, eight cell, in a way, reminds me of that sort of concept. It is unitary and emanating at the same time. Good one, Frank. Excellent. Yeah. Where is the unity coming from? From, from above. For the HL, not separated from him yet. Okay. And HL and, and ha oh, I get it. Yeah, it's yeah. in Hebrew you, you conjugate the verbs. In mm -hmm. And you get different meanings with the conjugation. Okay, okay. okay so now uh, somebody else wants to read? 
don't know. Sorry. Joe, would you like to? I don't even know where we are. Skip to the general. No, <laughs> the skip general to the general is, rule. The general rule is that whatever exists in one world repeats in the world below it according to the essence of that world and derives from the world above it. Whatever exists in the world of Atzilut in terms of his ways has a counterpart in the world of Bria and Yetzira, spiritual creatures that derive from his ordinances and execute them. In Anything there? No. Oh. In the world of Asaya, corporal beings that are also rooted in his ordinances, for example, parallel to the attribute of din, judgment, and the attribute of rachamim, rachamim mercy. mercy, in the world of Atzalut, there are the angels of judgment and mercy in the world of Yitzira and in the world of Asaya, there are physical beings of judgment and mercy, mm. creatures that cause damage and creatures that bring abundance and blessings. This, you can see how each world has its own, but there is a connect, it's the same, mm -hmm. the same stance, the same structure mm -hmm. that goes mm -hmm. uh, all the way down. Somebody just got in, I don't know if mm -hmm. that's two somebodies. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you can see that it, it is all connected, and yet there is the, the unique uh, character, quality, uh, attributes of each each level. Mm -hmm. And I like, I really like the um, the. Um, the word the completeness mm -hmm. at each level is seems very important and as we you know the circle and, and the the fully composed foundation of each level moving forward mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and that it's not like one higher level is exclusively able and and possessive of this certain quality or what whatever the noun is that that there is um, it's a system of, yeah, it make, it make, of it elements system. working oh, together. I oh, like that word. Because I it makes sense yeah. that you wouldn't be able to move on to something that's right. higher. It, yeah, no, it's true. And grasp something new. If, but if they you used to say New York Telephone were all connected or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's interesting is seeing how this parallels other things. In the class taught, taught by Kevin Townley here, you know, he would talk about. Uh, you know, the, the four planes of existence. Mm -hmm. And in a similar manner, he would talk about this level that is too high for us to ever to attain. And should we ever attain it, we are then at the bottom level of, you know, of, of the next yeah. one. And, it, and, and it's funny, when I've talked to people about this, some people find that very, you know, discouraging. And they think of it as being, you know, like the legend of Sisyphus. Uh, to me, it's not because in the Legend of Sisyphus, they've gone back down and they haven't learned anything. And in this one, it's just all right. You know, great, you got your rock to this level. You know, now you have a whole new hill to climb. So it's, but when it's you not discouraging to me. When you graduate a BA, you are a beginner on the master level. Exactly. And then you become the expert, the graduate, and you become beginner on a doctorate level. It, it happens in mm. all areas. Yeah, I'm also reminded of that old mm. Buddhist saying, mm. if you meet the Buddha on the road, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's an illusion to think that you've right. achieved. Mm -hmm. Right. That's wow. he, ain't re he ain't real. <laughs> he ain't real. <laughs> well, I think, a, I think yeah. that um, people I mean, I'm talking regular people, not special channelers or anything. Can can have moments of really penetrating oh, yeah. and grasping, uh, but it's split seconds. It's not like you can't stay there. You cannot. Uh, it, it cannot become your regular. Uh, and you can. The only one that was always open to receive was Moses. 
that that's why he's saying he didn't have to prepare, mm -hmm. he didn't have to do a lang language. There was no mirror that to, to split. It was a direct connection. Uh, and that's why he was also abstaining from his wife. He was always mm -hmm. having to be in con uh, prepared to be in contact. But even he couldn't see God's face. He had to do that. No, uh, not the yeah. actual. That's yeah. this is the thing that yeah. it cannot be. Uh, we, as long as we're in a physical body, we cannot do that because yeah. the that's the limitation that I was saying. That the body is both a limitation and a privilege mm -hmm. because. Uh, if doing mitzvot is important for you, you cannot do mitzvot without a body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to have the vessel, the, 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 the instrument that does the things. Uh, you cannot grow and, and, and experiment and do all those things. It's, it's with the body. The soul, before, before it enters the body, is like an angel. It totally cleaves to God, <laughs> speaking mm. of in, in, in the good way. In, a, in the good <laughs> way. And it uh, just follows God. The, the only thing it wants is to be connected to the source because that is the source. Once it goes in the body, as I said, it has to diminish itself. So this is not a great thing. But, uh, and you know, there are stories in the Midrash that uh, the soul, God, it's your turn. I don't want to. Well, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> so diminish yourself. And then, but the soul, after the having been in life, is functioning on a higher level. And if, if you notice, I said that the souls come from the world of Bria. Mm -hmm. Angels come from the world of Yitzira. Souls are higher Human souls right. are higher than angels. Mm -hmm. I say it again. The human souls come from a higher root than the angels. Mm -hmm. And you can go as far as your root. Which means human soul can go higher. And, uh, and that is acquired dafka in being in the world. Because the journey that the soul goes through in the body, in, in, in the physical world, and if, hmm. if it does the right things, I mean, if it yeah. really elevates itself and develops itself to a higher level, and the development is in becoming more, more pure, more functioning on the pure higher consciousness, that's the development that happens. And it's not so much that the soul becomes pure, uh, the soul is overcoming the body, and over all the situation is a pure situation. They work together on a higher level uh, because the soul has its original purity, but it's not being uh, applied full force. So uh, after life, that soul can uh, get to the level of the throne of God. And, and appeal and argue and, and, and ask for things in a way that angels cannot do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically the potential of human beings is really higher than angels. Hmm. And it's a, it's a nice thing to know. Mm -hmm. Not that we are always achieving our potential, but we have it. It's higher because it's harder for us. Much we have to work much harder than the angels do. Therefore, we need mm. to be honored above angels for the efforts that we've made. We are required to work. Mm -hmm. We are required to pave the road of higher consciousness, to overcome the temptations of the body, to overcome laziness, whatever, mm -hmm. to overcome that and continuously take the path that gets us closer to to God, because you could argue that the yetzer atov, yetzer ara, the the good inclination and the evil inclination, the evil inclination is basically a draw away for separation, and the good inclination is a draw towards, and the separation is really the the personification of evil, just having the separation. Well, and, and until that struggle takes place, I mean, I, I've I've always felt this way since we've been studying Kabbalah that. It's really this is a level of cre this is a uh, a level of creation that the that the higher levels couldn't get. They don't have this struggle. They don't uh, they don't they they're not they're not bifurcated in this way. They're not fighting against themselves really. I mean, so you look you look at body and soul. 
And when, when they get a chance to try to work together, try to solve problems together, angels don't have to do that. Uh, the higher-ups don't have to do that. I keep thinking that man has given God a real gift in the sense that and this may be very presumptuous, but a well, real gift. Vice versa. A real, well, a, yeah, but no, both ways. But a real gift in the sense that it, uh, it allows something that wasn't before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is also why in Judaism we honor converts because it's much harder to become a Jew not having been one right. yeah. than right. it is to have been born a Jew. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's beautiful. I hadn't thought that. You really have to wow. make the effort in all directions. You have to, well, that's why I say it's not easy to be Jewish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's much better in Yiddish. <laughs> it, it, it is. It really is. It's so much you're, better. You're right. yeah, it, it, it's so natural. It's so like. <laughs> but that's the thing. I mean, you have to consciously. But we are the only beings, not just Jews, human beings, the only beings that have this duality of body and soul. Mm -hmm. The pull right. in one direction and the pull in the other direction. And it's not a mistake. It's on purpose so that we will have that struggle and we will be over. Because a person that chooses the path of spirit is uh, the person that overcomes the temptations of the body. And we know spiritual people that don't even, some don't even need to eat in the Tao. There are the Brazilians, they don't, they don't even eat food, but definitely are not tempted by our, the regular things that we would be tempted by, which means the soul has overcome, is, is in control. That's what we want to get. When the soul is in control and the soul choices mm -hmm. are in control of our life. Uh, usually we are like sometimes here, sometimes there. We do a little good and then we slip back, and then we do a little good and slip back again. This is the benoni. What's the what's in the in Tanya? It's called the benoni, the middle. The middle. And most people are in the middle of the road. You know, they sometimes sometimes don't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, very few righteous and very few real evil people. I mean, these are extremes. So it's mostly this kind of a struggle. Yeah, right. And it's, it's within this system. So if you sort of have a vision, okay, there are all those levels um, to, to aspire for, to keep in my consciousness that they are there. Um, it makes it a little less, I would say, lonely down here. <laughs> I, I'd mentioned this in, in the other class. I'm rather amused by the fact that here, you know, we are encouraged to have independent thought, you know, to not say, you know, this, th this teacher, this rabbi has all the answers for me. We're supposed to question, we're supposed to doubt, we're supposed to really come up with the conclusions ourselves, and our ultimate reward is in effect to lose free will because we are then so attached, so cleaving to God that there is no, you know, th there, there, are, there is no choice at this point. I, I that, think that's where I'm confused. I think early on, Somebody gave me this image of soul is emanating straight from God, and, and it uses our body, that soul uses our body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. So, yes. so <clears throat> it, it seems to me that what we're struggling to do is to become more permeable. Is mm -hmm. that an okay way to image this? That, that's what I'm looking for, is a way to... Yeah, I think, I think you're right. Okay, mm -hmm. to be semi-permeable and we just open our pores more, that it's always available to us. Mm -hmm. But we have to do something but The more you raise your body via diet and, and practice and all that spiritual practice, you raise the vibration of your body, it becomes a higher level vessel that can take more parts of the soul in, of the light of the soul. Okay. Good. That, that's, I just wanted to make sure I had that. That's why you have this struggle of, with the yeah. body, because you need to raise the vibration and not lower the vibration. And we many times lower the vibration. Uh, so the struggle is to raise the vibration of the body. <coughs> Don't forget, when Adam was in the Garden of Eden, his body was basically light. Mm -hmm. But there's there's an interesting dichotomy with that too. You know, we're we're on this plane, you know, th this world of existence, because this is the world where we can do things. You know, we're here also to enjoy you know these various gifts of God, 
And, you know, when I think of some of the more typical holy people, you know, that we'll, we'll read about, you know, the hermit in the cave, the whatever, all right, it's wonderful that he's, you know, that he's praying for us, but he's not out there helping people directly. You know, so there's, there's a part of me when I think of, you know, sort of the ultimate thing that we're supposed to do seems to defeat why we're here. You know, it's like that's what the next world is for. Well, yeah, it's, it's, thank you for bringing this up because in Judaism specifically, you're supposed to celebrate your body. Mm -hmm. Right. Not to denigrate it and, uh, or not to squash it completely and not to leave it completely and become spiritual that you have no touch with your body. This is not Judaism. Um, you're... Shabbat, you're supposed to you're supposed to eat three great meals and enjoy them. You're supposed to have sex with your wife and enjoy. I mean, this is all very physical. You're celebrating the body, mm. and in Judaism, the soul alone will not get to the highest places. It needs to go there with the body. It's for a forever kind of connection mm. with the break during death. But it's a forever kind of connection when the, eventually the body becomes, again, body of light and is part of the journey of the soul in all those, that I say, seventh, eighth, ninth millennium, all of those things. This is body and soul, but the soul is in charge and the body is body of light, which is also elevating all the time to the point of no difference eventually. Uh, so definitely the body is in the picture, mm -hmm. both in the ability to do things and the need to enjoy and to be present. We are very called to be present in the physical world. Mm -hmm. Can I throw something else that just occurred to me? And, 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 and I never really thought about this before. And this discussion does not sound like it's going in this direction, but we're all human. We're all part of humankind. And, and, and being part of humankind, I'm suddenly saying, thank God, I don't have to do it all. And, and I, ne I never really thought about it that way before, but you know, there, there, are, a lot, there, there are some people who are doing a terrific job at it, mm -hmm. and there are some things that I'm doing fairly well at, but an awful lot that I'm not. But you know, in the sense that there's this progression toward the, the end of the six the six thousand years, when it, when we, we finally we you know the we move on to the next stage, I can move on collectively with humankind and say you know, um, this guy was helping, you were helping. I mean, there is help coming from all kinds of places, and therefore the 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 task I have in Asiya is shared. Mm -hmm. I don't have to do it all myself. <laughs> the, the, basically, uh, according to this, the Loyani Kabbalah, each soul has a specific job, deployment. And it's different from any other soul. Mm -hmm. No two souls are equal. So definitely, the, the, the tikkun olam, everything that has to be repaired in creation, is divided among all the souls. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I have to do may have nothing to do with what you have to do. And, but we are all doing our job. And if we are, and this is the trick, if we are really focusing on who we are, on who we are, and accept that this is, I have my own job, and I cannot be jealous that he got something else. This jealousy competition that we have in the physical world mm -hmm. is basically irrelevant, if we really thought in the essence. It's irrelevant, because some sages are saving us by just praying. Mm -hmm. okay. And they are saving, and there are always those 36 uh, Jewish sages Tzadikim that are in every generation maintaining the generation. It does not re release anybody else from their job. Mm -hmm. But that's their job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some, pl some people do tikkun olam, like uh, the woman... Um, Mary, uh, Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa. <laughs> she had her job to do it in that way. Others do tikkun olam. But we have to accept that it's really totally, absolutely individualistic and trust it and feel proud of it, you know, and not like I'm insufficient because compared to what he's doing, it's not good enough. In addition, we can only be what we are. We can't become what we want. Mm -hmm. uh, 100%. Uh, thank mm -hmm. you. So, which is, this is... Say that again. 
we can only be what we are. We can't become what we want. Or oh, what our parents want from us. <laughs> yeah, but that we're at least supposed to try. <laughs> but what do we become? We become more our purpose. Us. Mm. We become more, more, more aligned with who we were created for because we are we are born and that goes back to the astrology we are born with some certain uh, traits mm -hmm. we cannot i cannot be I, I tried i couldn't be blonde for instance i mean you can that you looked, looked awful, awful. That wig, <laughs> that wig. but I, it was awful i was i was brunette when I, before i was white uh so i mean oh you can you, you can be good at singing or you have no sense of melody and you, you can want to but this is irrelevant you really so the, the sooner you accept this is who I am and let me make that the, use that to the utmost make that the best that I can be the best me that I can be that's the work mm -hmm. and this is a huge part of the work because of what mm -hmm. we developed over especially in the later generation this competition and comparison and uh, it, it makes it very difficult to focus Am I enough the way I am with no comparison? Just what, what's, what's interesting in that is I think the greatest harm, you know, doesn't come out of uh, people trying to stifle us out of cruelty, but out, actually out of love. Uh, you know, <laughs> that, oh, you know one of my mentees is a brilliant, brilliant musician. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, went to his father for some help just to get health care. And his father said no. You know, because you're going down this path and it's going to lead to ruin and I'm too concerned for you, so you have to pay for your own health care. And I'm doing this out of love because that way That's you'll get a real job. Right. Love. I know. Yeah. But, but you, you absolutely can feel emanating from this guy oh. going, I know better. I know what the real world is like. I totally agree with you, Michael. It's not. But I can, you know, I can empathize going, I know where you're coming from. And instead, he's denying his son his gift. You know, Joe, Joe and I have a very interesting assignment. We are taking a course with Charna on aging and saging. Oh, you're in that. Ah. Saging, not aging is the name of it. <laughs> are, you, are you in the same, the same course? Yeah, we're in the same course. <laughs> so the assignment this week is to write our own obituaries. Oh, yeah. And... I'm asking myself, mm -hmm. do I write the good version? <laughs> do I write the true version? Do I write the bad version? Or do I try to figure out how I will be remembered by other people and write that version? And it's hard. Yeah. It's a, and, and this relates to, to, mm -hmm. to what we're, we're talking about, because as I'm thinking about writing my obituary, I'm, th you know, how do I put the real Emma's truth me out there? <laughs> you just go with the joke, Frank's up on the roof and we can't get him down. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'll, I'll tell you the joke later. It's a classic. <laughs> Any, any disparity, not not that there's, I think it's inherent there being disparity between you, how you perceive your contribution, your person, your body, your soul, and how others do, wouldn't that be a, 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 a striving goal to have more cohesion between the two? Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A absolutely. I, I would write your obituary in terms of how it resonates in your heart and how it frees you. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Because you don't know you, you don't know the effect you have on people. That, that, that oh, was that's right. that was one of the more interesting talks I had with Reb Zalman once. You know, when I was saying, "What do I bless you for?" And I'm talking about it, and it's it's the way that he set people free. It was not so much for his intellectual work because. 
I don't have the, I feel I don't have the capacity to really appreciate that. But the openness that he gave people, you know, to say, you know, let me really connect in at this emotional, at this visceral level, that was the most important thing to me. And it was a wonderful discussion where he's going, oh, all right, you know, but this person over here, it's really, you know, what I taught, what, you know, my, it's my writing, so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we good? <laughs> yeah. Do you know everything I think we're now? I think we're marvelous. Well, <laughs> let, let me go. <laughs> well, great, yeah. David. Yes. Have you ever experienced the pressure of a pun kind of rising inside you to the God. point where it has to just break out? No, they always <coughs> just break out. <laughs> <laughs> don't I don't let the pressure ha happen anymore. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, okay. I, and, and I'm Frank, mad I didn't come up well, with that one. <laughs> well, and, and picking up on that for one second, if anybody ever asks, what is the practical value of studying Kabbalah? Guys, we've had so much of it today. I mean, I, I'm, I, I, this is very abstract. This is very, you know, very hard to grasp. But what great value this has. I mean, look, look at what this has evoked in us. I'm disappointed. I thought you were about to do a pun to top his. <laughs> no, I, 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 could, I couldn't. I couldn't. There isn't that, any. Could either of you. That would <laughs> okay, so yeah. let yeah. us chant. Well, yeah. remind everybody. Ah, thank you. Ooh, oh, yes. Thank yes. You. I did remind so We are meeting again next week because this one was the postponed one from last month. So we have next week another meeting, and then it will be a month from then. Mm -hmm. Good. Now we can change. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I died. 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 Yeah, I die, 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 die,